the Northern Hemisphere tours are an extremely important part of all parties involved as they look to bridge the gap between them, the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere teams and also look to build towards that all-important World Cup which is ever-looming in the future. Hello everyone, welcome along to Cornflakes Crib, your home of Rugby Challenge 2, where we are covering the end of year tour to the Northern Hemisphere, where we start off with the All Blacks' first up match, where they met Japan, and this tour, as we're saying, a very important piece for all sides involved, as it really gives the teams a chance to build up some experience in their players, build up that depth in their ranks, and also evaluate just how far they have to come between the gap of these northern and southern hemisphere countries it is all important to view where they're going and if they're on track for their targets japan they have the honor of the first match on the road to the northern hemisphere where they face the all blacks in japan well you may notice recognize one big name from that team of fumiaka tanaka the number nine starting at halfback playing in the Super Rugby competition this season. He is a very talented player. There's also a few other players who are breaking out around the world into bigger competitions. Japan is a force to be reckoned with in future years. Up against them are the All Blacks, and as you can tell from the side, they have rested, well not rested, they have brought in a lot of depth throughout the team. They have also not taken this match too lightly at all, with a lot of first team players still in the squad, with McCall, Carter, Smith, and the likes keeping their place in this team. Bringing in a lot of youth as well with Halai, Saili, Piatel, and Thrush Bird of debut for the tallest All Black ever coming into the team. So it's a mix of youth and experience for the New Zealand team today. And we'll see how they can handle the cherry blossoms of Japan in this first en route match to the Northern Hemisphere. And these Japanese fans will love this. Outstanding stuff, we get to see that ever so often now with the All Blacks touring. Keep that in mind. Remember, if there's any other end of year tour matches, we have a lot of other teams coming around throughout the countries. So if there's anything you want to see special that won't be covered in the main matches, do let me know and I will cover that just for you as well as this match is about to get underway. The All Blacks facing Japan is kicked off from Daniel Carter and we are underway and Japan has the first use of the ball securing the kickoff and that is a great start for Endo coming off his wing into the action and Sam Kane has turned it over Carter in midfield so a flurry start there from the Japanese as here comes Jeremy Thrush Advantage. through the middle throwing a forward pass the big man trying to hop through the gap Release. and it is advantage to Japan over. It's Tanaka, comes off the back of the ruck, short side himself, and gives it to Hori, who takes it to ground, still coming here. Number eight, Holani, flicks it wide, and there's still room out here for Japan if they can open up some spaces. Tui, taking the ball to ground. This Release. is a good start here from Japan. All over the ball, the All Blacks getting numbers to the ruck and turn it over. Corbalo with a short ball to Crockett. Luatua, oh, Luatua off the Crockett run, gets sideswiped. Taken to ground, McCaw. Smith, Ben Smith, the try scoring machine, breaks away, giving it off to Piatel. Has Piatel got the pace? He doesn't. Saili comes in support and gets hit hard as well. Big hits coming in from the Japanese at the moment. Good pass for Smith. Ben Smith playing in centre. Gets the first try for the All Blacks who hit the lead. Second break of the night for Ben Smith. Ball security at its peak right there. 
Carvalho so quick to the rucks. Flicking it across. Ben Smith coming from deep in the line. Hitting the ball at pace. Saeli took a hammering there from Horry. Second big hit on him tonight. And then flicks it out. Ben Smith, first receiver. Straight between a couple of forwards. Hata Kayama is never going to stop the express machine of Ben Smith who scores yet another try for the season and an early 5-0 lead for the All Blacks never in doubt who would win this match but it come down to how much and whether Japan will be able to compete is the big question Carter's conversion is good from right in front and the All Blacks now lead 7-0 over the cherry blossoms of Japan James Arledge, another name New Zealand fans might recognise. A bit of a veteran now in these rugby circles. He kicks things off. Saeli doesn't claim the ball at all. It's picked up from Japan. What a take from Onuzawa. And it's kicked back eventually. Good chances for Japan to score a try. Breaking free down the left-hand side. Can't get closer to the line. Tanaka, short ball. Giving it to his hooker, Hori, who's been in everything, Hori. Slow ball coming back for Japan again. Tanaka gives it across to Arledge. Flies a good ball out wide. Cuts on the inside and a try to Japan. Try to Japan. They have broken the line and they have hit back almost instantly. Catch who that was. Oh, it was Tyra. Great try for the outside centre. There was a pass from Arledge. Put him in the gap in between Saeli. Oh, was that Saeli and Piertel? He cut them in half. Two men with no shortage of pace themselves. Oh, what a job he did. It was between Saeli and Halai, actually, left winger. One now standing try to Japan, and they're right in this match here. James Arledge will have a chance. But definitely a good kicker by anyone's standards here. A real coup for the Japanese to have this man in their team as Arledge's kick is very good. And we have a tied ball game back up at 7 all. And I think we have answered the question whether Japan are going to be able to hang on to the black juggernaut who has been who've been just creaming everything in their wake this year. We go back to halfway for Daniel Carter now to kick off again. He goes to the left side for Halai, the big tall left winger. And again, it's taken from Japan. Here's Leach, passing it into play good. And it, it is Hatakiyama who takes the ball into ground just short of halfway. The All Blacks can't get their hands on the ball here. Tanaka decides to go for a little run himself in. Halai intercepted. And he only gets 10 metres upfield. And he's taken down. Kribalo off the back. Saeli. That man's offside anyway. Here's Ben Smith. Taken, wrapped up in a good tackle. And they drive it forward, the All Blacks. This is good use of the forwards. Even though it's mostly backs in there. Dane Coles will look at the ball at halfback. And he looks to his left side. Again, driven in. Franks looking to drive the ball. McCaws in support. As is Dominic Bird. And they drive forward a few more yards. Here's Luatua getting the forwards involved in this match here. Carter ranging out on the left-hand side. Bumps off one. And goes to ground just five metres short. Super run from Carter. Couldn't link up with Halai. Here's Franks. Pops it to Saeli. Big pass out wide to Charles Piatel. Who will get the second try? The Auckland teammates combining with a big pass from Saeli. And it almost come too easy for them. Saeli, what a ball, what a bullet shot across field to Piatau, who finished the job. And the All Blacks hit the lead back very quickly after, after conceding the equalising points. And it looked a bit too easy after bringing the players all in and a couple of big drives. And then switching it out wide, finding acres of open space in the second try for this young All Blacks team. Bit of a tester here for Carter. Where's he going to go with this one? Five in from touch. Right hand side of the field. Hits it nicely. Right hand upright. It slides inside. 
And we have a 14 point to seven ball game. The All Blacks back in front. Japan though, showing plenty of heart out there. There's plenty of fans for both teams in the crowd too. It's Arlen Chen's ball back at halfway to kick us off again. Both sides going to the left side. Saeli and Smith combining brilliantly. Down this right hand touch line is Ben Smith. Won't be caught by anyone. Nicholas gives chase, but Ben Smith will go in for not try number two. And that was too easy. Japan need to tighten things up here. They've got a bit loose. And the floodgate starting to open already as they can see a couple of tries. In mere minutes, Nicholas caught miles out of position. And Ben Smith playing in the centres. But boy, he's got pace to burn. And look at him scream away from everyone. Again, a good take from Saeli. Just linking up with his outside players. And a pair for Ben Smith. And you have to feel for Frank Hulley on the left wing who has seen no action at all. All the ball's been coming down the right. Carter, third kick of the day. 19-7, hits it nicely. And as you'd expect, two more points. The All Blacks striding out now, 21 points to seven. Things starting to click for them. And the points are starting to flow. Japan need to settle things down here. Go back to the basics. Tackle well. Don't fall off the ball here. And they kick off again. And it's nicely taken. Brilliantly taken Release. from the try scorer. Oh, Tyra. And now they come away to the left. No way through Release. there. Big time hammered. And they'll lose the ball too. Support coming even more for the All Blacks. Here's Ben Smith searching for their hat trick. No, because Crocker's knocked it on. Japan pick it up. Broken play here. Brando. Chip and chase from... Onto Zawa, and it's picked up from Barrett, who will go for a little run straight off the kick. And he gets a couple meters upfield. They pop it away to Carter, who looked to kick but changed his mind. Ben Smith in midfield, where he should be. Coles, Luatua, using the numbers to his advantage. Now Talai. Halai still got Saeli. Saeli on the end of a good play this time. Not playing provider. He has enough pace. Onozawa gives chase. He won't catch him. He's over the line. And Saeli gets another try for the All Blacks. Four tries in the half. Great display. Finally some action coming down the left side for Halai. And they made it count. Saeli is proving a big factor in this match already. Combining together a few times. And having a hand in almost every try now. And that's four tries to one as we'll head to the break. It looked like Carter was going to kick for territory until he heard the buzzer. They decided to go for it and they've been rewarded with a good try. Onuzawa showing some good pace there in the chase too. And the defence. But ultimately, there's only one of him. And a whole back line of All Blacks is Carter. Has one more shot at goal. We hit to the sheds at half time. And the score will be 28 points to 7. As the conversion is sweetly struck in between the posts. 28-7. Four tries to one. Japan, well, after their good start, will be slightly disheartened to fall away so much. But they've got a try, which will please them no end as they head to the sheds. And position and territory almost even in those stats for the All Blacks, 66 and 65. Line breaks, Japan will be ultimately extremely happy with making four line breaks and also zero handling errors. And in the end, only making three tackles more than the All Blacks had to make. So that is good news for Japan. They're hanging in there, they're putting in a good display. They're only behind by 21 points. They want to keep that margin as little as possible and hopefully for their sake, they can come out to the second half and play like they did at the start of the first half where they really took the game by the scruff of the neck, scored a try and had quite a bit of possession. After that try, it was all one-way traffic to the men in black and really curtains for the match, which as we always thought was it, it was going to be. So how much can the All Blacks stack up in the second half? Can Japan rally back into this one and score some points? Stick around, the second half is coming right up.
Will be Japan to kick us off. Arledge with the ball, had a decent match, James Arledge. He goes again to the left side, and again it's picked up from Japan. Brilliant work from the kickoffs. You have to give it to their centre pairing, Onuzawa, and the likes of Nicholas and Tricor Tyra. They have been outstanding, and now again they have another dabble inside. Oh, the All Blacks 22, and a knock on from Thrush will end it after he got the intercept. So the All Blacks fishing, looking for those opportunities. Crouch. But it hasn't come there. Thrush intercept and hammered at the same time. Knock on coming and a scrum for Japan. A real chance for a set piece play for the two Blossoms to score. Maybe their second try. They're only 20 metres out. Have a big chance. Steady scrum against this All Black pack. And it's coming back for Tanaka now. Tanaka to Arledge. Swinging it left or right. And they give it away nicely for Endo. Endo still got a man. Oh, high tackle. Big high tackle from Carballo. And Endo really had a lot of space there with another partner he had there. Looked like Tyra again in the action. And Japan are pulling the big heartstrings here of the crowd going for the corner. Now look for that elusive second try. They have dominated already, like we said. This is what they need to do. They need to get into this match. They need to score next. And they need to assert themselves here. They get the line out ball nicely. Beautifully taken too from Katugawa. And they drive on it. Just so close. Just a metre short. They come to the left. Has to be another try as a Kurbalo can't hold him up. And it looks like Onuzawa. Could it be try number two for Japan? It's Ryan Nicholas. Ryan Nicholas, the inside centre. Brilliant work from Japan using their forwards for a big strong run from Nicholas. Taking Kobalo over the line with them. And the little halfback, no matter how strong he is, are charging Ryan Nicholas. Rugby fans from New Zealand of old will remember that man playing for Otago. And he is a very good player. Very old now in comparison in his mid-30s compared to what he was back in Otago, but nevertheless still a good strong player and raising those hopes of Japan who get the first score after half time of Arledge's kick to add two more and it is 14 points to 28 Japan scoring twice and this match is not over yet folks Carter will kick off again. Onto the left foot he goes. This time they finally change their mind and go to the forwards. It's Thrush and Piatel. Can't get it away. And it is beautifully taken from Fujita. And it's still here for Japan. who have had all the goings. Nice away for Onuzawa, who has been one of the best performing players for Japan. Now they break out again. Still linking up together nicely. Release. The All Blacks try to turn over the ball. Can they get the numbers to the ruck? No, they can't. Off the back they come, to the left side, Onuzawa gets through two tackles. Brilliant work from the left winger, has been outstanding. Eventually taken down from Bowden Barrett, and they're on the 22 again. Here's Leach, getting driven back Please. in the tackle, good hit there. And this is all Japan after half time. Here's Hori, who's been very strong in everything he's done, but that time he loses it. Now McCaw at number eight, Kurbalo, nice Saeli. Carter, Carter in midfield, Carter's going to kick, he does kick out to the left, Halai will be there, Halai will be chasing, but it's going to fall to the Japanese player first, and it is nicely Release. taken from Endo, and a penalty for Carter, oh not, not releasing the tackled player, and the ruck, and a penalty for Japan, relieving some pressure here after that kick, and Arledge thumps it away, Nicely towards halfway, and Japan will be able to reset things now and have another go. Only 14 points behind. Line out here for Hori, goes nicely to the back. Leach takes it in and they drive on the, Jap the Japanese again. Over halfway they go. All Blacks have to dedicate players here because they're getting rolled over. Japan now release it and they come to the left side. 
That's going to be for the left winger, Onuzawa again, who's been outstanding. Here's Hori going through a couple of tackles, breaking the line. Japan have been all over the second half. Quick ball coming to Arledge, who gets smashed. Big hit on him from Carballo, who's also turned it over. Luatua, Halai, Halai puts on the fend, gives it to Ben Smith. Dominic Byrne, the big, big lock, the biggest man to ever don the jersey. Goes up over the 22. And the All Blacks have no support coming to the ruck and Japan have turned it over. And they start to break out again through Endo this time. The wingers coming in for some work in midfield. Tanaka goes off the back and what a battle that is. The smallest man on the field against the biggest. Kane has stolen it though on the ruck and it's Topsy Terabi as Lua Tua. Saini, now they're breaking away on the right hand side through Piatel. Looks to link up back on the inside for Ben Please. Smith. Can't find him. And Japan again turn the ball over. This is Helter Skelter stuff as it's breaking a line again, Japan. Big trouble here for the All Blacks if they can't get defence back. Nicholas back inside he goes to Fujita. And taken to ground eventually from Tui. That's all Japan at the moment. Still with the ball and Release. still making progress upfield. Tanaka comes to the right side after changing his mind. And Arledge takes the ball to ground. Now they come forward again. Still breaking the line. This time it's Kichigawa giving it back to Fujita, who goes through three tackles. And still going. The All Blacks haven't scored in this half. Halai has to make the tackles. Japan keep the ball alive. Here's Tanaka putting on some footwork. Goes to pass Release. Barrett, but gets taken down eventually. Looked from McCaw. Coming out again is Japan. It's taken inside from Kutigawa again, who run, runs it forward in the mall. And now they spread it to the left side. Full back in the line, Webb giving it off to Nakuba. D lock again, Release. having another run. Looking for onu Onuzawa on the left side. They'd love to get him involved in this match. He's been explosive. It's Tanaka. Now they go out this way. Here he is, the man we just talked about. Onuzawa gets taken down from Piatau. And again, Japan have retained possession. This is a brilliant effort from the Japanese. Release. Look down and out in this match, and they've really come back. Nicholas coming off the back of the ruck. Goes for a little scamper, gets driven backwards, and the All Blacks drive over the top of the ball. Should turn this over, and they do. McCaw, ball to Saeli. Saeli looks to use his pace. Saeli's through the gap. He's got Carter. Carter will need some support. He's got Ben Smith. Gives it to Halai. Halai for the try. Maybe. Yes, two fans from Halai. And he'll score the try at the end of the match to finish things off. What an explosive finish from Frank Halai. He took the whole match to get involved, but that was something special from Halai. Look at this. We'll see if Ben Smith drawing the man. But look at this fan getting rid of one, getting rid of two. And see you later. The man has pace and power to burn. And the All Blacks absorbing all that pressure. And then just so quickly flicking the switch, brushing the man aside was Halai. That was a special try. And after such a good first half from the All Blacks, they have really been put under the pump in this second half. Japan scoring a try. And keeping the All Blacks scoreless until those dying minutes of the match. Here's Carter's kick. This will end the match. A 33-14 kick is good. And we have 35-14. to 14. The All Blacks, probably their smallest ever margin against Japan. Just 21 points. And we are all over. The All Blacks have done it. And relatively easy in the end, thanks to good defense throughout that second spell. A young and inexperienced team from New Zealand put under pressure here from the cherry blossoms from Japan a very good effort from those guys the ones we see now Japan very good effort from them some standout performances from players like Onuzawa and Tyra Nicholas was very good Tanaka as usual best off the back of the rucks and of course the locks and leech the number seven was very good and Kitugawa the locks were very very good indeed the forwards all got very heavily involved, Fujita and Hori, and of course Hatakigama, the front row, very good with ball in hand around the field today, and Japan will take that one 
Well, they'll take it to their families for years to come. Japan losing in the end 35 to 14. Tries for Tyra and Nicholas. Arledge was very good off the boot and, of course, as usual, good playmaking self around the field with two conversions to him. As for New Zealand, tries for Halai, Saili, Piatau and two for Ben Smith. Daniel Carter flawless with the boot, getting five from five. Possession and territory, well, that was at mid-60s at halftime. It's been brought down to mid-50s from the Japanese. Very well played in the second half. Line breaks five to four, so we just split that round for the second half. Japan getting the better of the All Blacks in their second spell. An outstanding match on them. Handlinger has just crept in, two from Japan, but all in all, a great display from the Japanese. Against the young and very inexperienced All Blacks team, but really a good display from the Japanese. So that wraps us up for the first of the end of year tour matches. Remember, if there's any special ones you want to see of any end of year tour matches this year, let me know. I'll try to cover the main ones. And yeah, an extra little competition going on in international rugby. So thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the match. And I'll see you again soon for the next end of your tour match of the Northern Hemisphere. Until then, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Remember to click that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Take care.